I think it's fair to say it's notoriously difficult to make a lot of money as a robotics company. Uh, how can you make money as a robotics company? Can you speak to that? It seems that a lot of robotics companies fail. Um, it's difficult to build robots. It's difficult to build robots at a low enough cost where customers, even in the industrial setting, want to purchase them. And it's difficult to build robots that are useful, sufficiently useful. Yeah. So what can you speak to? And Boston Dynamics has been uh, successful for many years of finding a way to make money. Well, in the early days, of course, you know, the money we made was from doing contract R&D work. Mm -hmm. And we made money, but you know, we, we weren't growing and we weren't selling a product. And then we went through several owners who you know, had a vision of not only developing advanced technology, but eventually developing products. And so both you know, Google and SoftBank and now Hyundai you know, had that vision and were willing to you know, provide uh, that in investment. Um, now our discipline is that we need to go find applications that are broad enough that you could imagine selling thousands of robots because it doesn't work if you don't sell thousands or tens of thousands of robots. If you only sell hundreds, the com you will commercially fail. And that's where most of the small robot companies have died. Um, and, and that's a challenge because, you know, A, you need to field the robots, they need to start to become rely reliable. And as, have we, as we've said, that takes time and investment to get there. And so it really does take visionary investment to get there. But we, we believe that we are going to make money in this uh, industrial monitoring space because, you know, if a, if a chip fab, if the line goes down because a vacuum pump failed someplace, that can be a very expensive process. It can be a million dollars a day in lost production. Maybe you have to throw away some of the product along the way. And so the robot, if you can prevent that, by inspecting the factory every single day, maybe every hour if you have to, there's a real return on investment there. But there needs to be a critical mass of this task. And, and we're focusing on a, a few that we believe are ubiquitous in the industrial uh, production environment. And that's using a thermal camera to keep things from overheating, using an acoustic imager to find compressed air leaks, using visual cameras to read gauges, uh, measuring vibration. These are standard things that you do to prevent unintended shutdown of a factory. And this, this takes place in a, a beer factory. We're working with AB InBev. It takes place in chip fabs. You know, we're working with global foundries. Uh, it takes place in electric uh, utilities and nuclear power plants. And so the same robot can be applied in all of these industries. And and uh, as I said, we have about uh, actually it's eleven hundred spots out now. To really get uh, you know profitability, we need to be at a thousand a year, maybe maybe fifteen hundred a year, you know, for that sort of part of the business. So it still needs to grow, um, but but we're on a good path. So I think that's totally achievable. So the application should require the crossing that thousand robot barrier. It really should.